Greetings, beautiful ones. Fran here, back with another video. Happy Thursday. All right, so today's video is going to be a little different than the Money Thursday videos. However, the information that I'm going to give you in this video, you can use to attract and manifest anything that you desire. But I've really been kind of sitting with it and praying about it and and really just kind of listening to spirit about what it is I should teach as I always do. And this came up for today and I think that it's pretty important and it's a pretty, pretty good way to attract and manifest anything that you want. I have used it to attract many things, like many things, so many things I cannot even begin to tell you, like literally. Um, and so I want to share this with you. And before we go any further, you guys know that I'm going to say thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you, new friends, fam, members. I am so glad to have you here. And make sure that you share this channel with someone that you think could benefit from it. All right. Around here, we are changing mindsets, raising consciousness, one video at a time. All right. So what I want to talk to you guys now about is a law. You know, I, I, we've been talking about the laws of the universe for some time, and I haven't really gotten into all of the laws of the universe. But I have talked to you about specific laws. Like we talk about the law of attraction a lot. And we've been talking about the law of circulation as well, which a lot of you are very familiar with these two laws. We talk a lot about them because they are very, very important laws. But I also want to talk to you tonight about the law of assumption. Now, the law of assumption is another one of my favorite go-tos when I want to manifest quickly and when I want to manifest without really having to overthink it. Because sometimes in life, we overthink things depending on what is going on in our lives. Like, it depends on, you know, kind of how we're feeling or what's happening at that moment. We will get into our heads, we get on the carousel of the minds, right? And we will begin to just really, really think about things over and over and over again, and we create anxiety. And sometimes we create the space for negative energy to come in because we're all over the place. And I know that in the last week or so, I have felt like this really humongous shift of energy, which I'm really happy about because when the energy in the universe is shifting, that means that things are changing. And right now, we're in a Venus retrograde, which is a whole nother video. We'll talk about that next week. I'll probably do that tomorrow or in a couple of days, maybe after Christmas, because we're coming up on Christmas. But after Christmas, I'll talk about the retrograde, because we'll be into the retrograde for some time. Anyway, let's get back to the law of assumption. You guys know that I always talk to you about giving thanks in advance and about being thankful for what it is that you are desiring to happen or to change in your life before it happens, right? We talk about that a lot. We talk about how we need to give thanks in advance. We need to enter the gates with thanksgiving, right? This is what the law of assumption is. And to operate in the law of assumption, you have to understand what the law of assumption is. And the law of assumption is simply assuming that you already have what you are asking for and what you are trying to get in your life. So a lot of people will say act as if, right? This is a little different than that. This is more about really being clear about what you'd like to see in your life or how you would like to see your life, see your life change. When I use the law of assumption, I'm using it from a place of I am really ready to create a different type of effect in my life. I'm really ready to see things go to the next level. 
So I began, began to give thanks about that situation already being as I want it to be. And the reason that this is such a powerful technique is because you realize that nothing really is outside of you, right? Everything that you want to create, everything that you desire, everything that you choose to be, have, and do is already within you. It is already part of your existence. So it is already part of who you are. You just have to tap into that to make it your reality. So everything that you are experiencing in this life is a symbol of your conscious reality. It's a symbol of what you are thinking about. I always tell people, if you tell me your life, I can tell you your thoughts. If you show me your life, I can tell you what you're thinking because your life is made up of your thoughts. Every experience that you are having in your life is because you have created that. And that is so huge when you are applying the law of assumption because you realize that you have to take responsibility for your own actions. You have to take responsibility for your thoughts and you have to take responsibility for your choices. And that is why I always tell you guys that the minute you really realize, the minute you truly realize that you are the master of the ship, like you really are creating every single thing in your life. When I do sessions, unstuck sessions with clients, the biggest thing is the reality versus what I want my reality to be. That always seems to be the biggest obstacle for people. My reality versus what I want my reality to be. You have the ability to change anything in your life that you truly want to change. You can manifest and attract everything that you want in your life. And you have to understand that God has given you that power. God has given you the ability to choose, which is why we have free will. So when you activate the law of assumption with your free will, you are on the course of changing your entire existence and can change your entire existence it doesn't even matter where you are right now. It doesn't even matter what's happening in your life at this moment because you can change it just by changing your conscious thought, having that feeling that it has already happened. The law of assumption is all about changing anything in your life that no longer fits or serves or that you simply don't like. And in order to change your life and to activate the law of assumption, you simply have to change your beliefs. You have to change the way that you think about the things in your life. So let me give you an example. The other day, I was having a moment about my son's car, which used to be my car. And I was having a moment about the car because the check engine light came on. And this, this, this car is one of those cars that whenever anything goes wrong with it, it's going to cost you a grip to fix, right? So I was thinking in my head that, oh my gosh, I just knew something was going to happen to this car. I just knew it as soon as I gave it to him that I was going to be out of pocket on this car. I just knew that, right? That's me assuming, right? So my, my conscious belief at that point, point was me assuming that something was going to happen to this car. I thought that long enough that it became a dominant thought. So any thought that you hold in your mind 60 seconds or more becomes a dominant thought. So that thought became my dominant thought. And I was thinking about it every time he would drive off to school. I would be out in the yard looking, you know, get praying to my prayer protection over him as he drives down the street, right? And still thinking in my head, 
oh boy, something's going to happen to this car. I know I'm going to end up having to get this car fixed. And what happens? So I created that circumstance by holding that dominant thought every day. Every day when I saw him drive off, right? So anything that you experience is a result of what you're thinking. We know that, right? But you can experience things that you desire to just by changing your consciousness. And your consciousness changes the assumptions and the assumings that you have around the things in your life. And assuming that your present desires are up here, elevated desires, and they're things that you want, why would you not want to think about those things, right? When you begin to think about your life and you're assuming, so think about the things that you assume. Well, I assumed that my car was going to break down. I assumed you wasn't going to like me. I assumed she wasn't going to hire me. Imagine Can changing you? those type of assumptions to the presence of your current desires can, can to, 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 to bring them into the mindset and the consciousness of what you truly want and that's what your focus is on, right? Your action around the assumption is really irrelevant since the action itself is the symbolism of changing the mindset. You're shifting your consciousness to the only thing that matters. And once you begin to shift your consciousness to the only thing that matters, your consciousness and your subconsciousness begin to bring you those things. See, as we talk about all the time, the conscious man, that's the doorkeeper. The subconscious man is connected to the Holy Spirit, which says, whatever you like, Fran, however you like it, Fran, right? But the conscious mind says, well, I don't think so, because that's the mind that we have operated in for so long. The law of assumption changes the conscious mind. You have to find that feeling of desire. You know that you want this. Your desire is a God-given gift. In order to, to assume the nature of your desire, you have to simply pretend that you have already achieved it. You just have to simply assume that it is already yours. And the key rests in the feeling. It's not enough to think that it's already yours, but you have to feel it. When I first wanted to, when I first wanted to change the direction of my business, when I was first given the vision of the woo-woo girl, I was so excited. Like, I was like, oh God, this is good. I've always wanted to do this. I've always wanted to, I've always wanted to do this. I've always wanted to have my own shop. I've always wanted these things, right? So God brought that desire back to me. And he brought it back to me with a feeling of, oh, I'm so excited. This is going to be so good. So the Woo Woo Girl was incarnated. It made its first six figures in six months and has been going ever since. I felt it. I could see it. I desired it. And I wanted it. It's the same way with anything that you desire. The feeling of feeling good about it because you assume it's already done, right? It's like giving an assignment to your coworker, right? You the boss now, don't forget that part. You're the boss and you give the assignment to one of your team workers. You go ahead and do something else because you know that that's done because it's their job to do it, right? It's the same thing with your heavenly staff and the universe. It's their job to bring you the things that you already assume that you have. Powerful, isn't it? It's really, really, really amazing, but it's so simple. You have to be persistent in the pursuit of the things that you want, right? We can be persistent in negative things. We can be persistent in things that we don't have no business 
I'm not even going to go down the list because we all know what those are, right? But if you can imagine yourself into a desired state of being, then all you have to do is state your intention because it's already yours. The physical manifestation of your goal is a secondary reaction. The reflection that you will experience as long as you maintain in a state of feeling good and as long as you maintain that state of it's already done, baby, it's already done. The law of the law of assumption is the law. It has to work. There, there is no way around it, my boy. No way around it. Activate the law of assumption. See what happens. All right, guys. Leave me some comments. Let me know what you think about this video. I want to wish you guys a happy, happy, happy holiday. Stay safe out there. Stay safe and remember the reason for the season. You guys might see me over the Christmas holiday. All right. I will talk to you soon. Bye for now.